Right, let's talk more Reading football now because the Reading women's team are in action again and uh, a bit of a disappointment last weekend. They lost to uh, Yeovil 4-2 on Saturday. Let's speak to Harriet Scott, who's on the line. Harriet, good evening to you. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. I mean, you've had a great start to the season, but a bit of a slip-up last weekend. Yeah, so um, it was a bit of a disappointing result, really, against Yeovil. I mean, like, the, the thing is, they're a really, really good side and we never have e easy games against them, so... Realistically, when we went there, and obviously they're a couple of talented girls and re a really good team, it was a bit of a disappointing result because they're a tough side. Yeah, we were a little flat and kind of lacked a bit of tempo, so but kind of hence the result, yeah. Better news last night there, a 2-2 draw against uh, local rivals Oxford, so you'll be more cheered by that, presumably. Oh, yeah, no, much happier. I mean, it's a chance to kind of to bounce back from, obviously, the game before, and it's definitely good to have a midweek game at Farnborough. Um, it, was, it was good because, I mean, in the first half, like, we kind of were a bit flat again but I mean Kel our manager she kind of asked for something at half time and the girls performed and they gave us that point that is like a valuable point definitely so everyone, really good actually yeah everyone loves a local derby don't they and uh, yeah, Reading definitely. Oxford we don't have enough Reading Oxford clashes was, it, was there a bit more in it did you did you feel the occasion being a local derby yeah I mean it, it always is when we play against them like they're, again they're a side that it, they're hard to play against and they make they make games hard for us but it, it was good to play against them because I mean we've got a rivalry going on and it's always a good atmosphere in those sort of games so yeah it was, it was good actually yeah good and you've got a bit of a break haven't you next game uh, is it Everton next game yeah so the next game is Everton on Saturday I think it's the 9th of May at 6pm mm. but yeah so that's a, a home game and um, it, it's going to be a good game against them obviously they're, they're a top top side they've come up come down sorry from the league above so they'll definitely be one to wants to challenge and wants to watch out for so we can't underestimate him on this one. So that's at Farnborough, as is the 16th of May against Doncaster Rovers are always strong as well. So a little bit of a break and then uh, back in with uh, a tough couple of games. What, what Do you train what, a couple of times a week to uh, to keep ticking over in this break? Yeah, so we'll be training uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays and there'll be obviously intense training sessions and just kind of after the kind of couple of first couple of games we'll just be regrouping and going back into things again, getting into the swing of things and just training well and enjoying playing again, really. The problem you've got, of course, without any games, the uh, the coaches and the management, they'll think, well, we can run the girls into the ground a bit more. That's what tends to happen, isn't it? If you've got a game at the weekend, they take it a bit easier because they know you've got to be physically ready, whereas when there are no games for a, for a week or two, they, they drive you a bit harder on the training ground, don't they? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely true, but it's it's something that um, we've had like a long pre-season already and the girls are all physically prepared for it. And uh, the managers and the staff have done really well in preparing us for like our fitness levels are being really high. So these next couple of weeks, although they'll be intense, is, is definitely what we need. So it'll be a good good thing for us, really. Good stuff. Well, uh, good luck uh, when it gets round to 9th of May. And uh, well done last night against Oxford. That was a, a decent draw, as I say. And uh, fingers crossed you go well in the next few weeks. Thank you very much, Harry, for your time. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. That's Harriet Scott from the uh, Reading women's team. As I say, they slipped up last week against Yeovil, but a 2-2 draw against Oxford last night. Third